a Zumba class, you can cut the music. You can cut the music. No. This is, what, why is everyone so, I love, this is what I'm talking about. Because you're on the show, Tehran, that's why. You're a star. This crowd is like, this crowd is low. I want some more. I, you had a fashion show. There was a lot going on. Who here, look, there's a lot of Persians. Who isn't Persian? Who doesn't speak Farsi? Who doesn't speak Farsi? Yes! Don't speak Farsi? Don't speak Farsi? Has one between Pursetta Hamina Hak Bazani? I slammed him with that man. she became. I just welcomed you like all Persians do to their homes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. No, okay, listen. I'm going to get canceled. I'm going to get canceled. Okay, here's the thing. Let me explain what Khadiji means. Khadiji, because you don't know. What's your name, bro? Tim, Tom, Steve, Mike, Mark, Larry, Barry, Stan, Dan, Rick, Nick, Dick, Floyd. Oh, shit. You know why that's funny? I threw out all these stereotypical white names and you were like, no, whiter! You, it was like, whiter! It was whiter than anything I could think of. Look! So you can't play that game with Persians. Do you know, see this nice looking terrorist looking guy right here? Do you see his face? Terrorist face. I mean, you're laughing, but let's, let's be real. You're probably the nicest guy, but you have terrorist face. You, you have terrorist face, bro. Like, let's be real. If you get up and leave all of a sudden, nigga, we all leaving too. Like, we're not gonna just sit and see what bag you leave behind, you know what I'm saying? You wanna, listen, you wanna mess with Floyd? Go to the exit sign, yell, Allah Akbar, and start running. Floyd will shit his pants. <laughs> Floyd will oh, no, Kira and his pants right now. I said what I said. We don't know, this is Floyd. Floyd, when I say Khadiji, let me explain what Khadiji means, and you have to understand, because you need to understand Persian people. If you're gonna hang out with Persian people, you need to understand Persian people. Khadiji means foreigner. No, no, you're not understanding Floyd. Let me explain. They call you Khadiji. That means Iranians came to America from Iran, and they started calling Americans Khadiji. What kind of people? They started calling Americans Khadiji, and they don't just say Khadiji, they say Khadiji Kha. Why? Because you can't just be a foreigner. No, you have to be a stupid foreigner, bro. You have to, they have to hurt you with their love. That's how Persians work. They have to hurt you. Yo, I'm already black enough. Turn the lights back up. This is racist. Like, this is racism right now. Hey, turn the lights down. I'm talking to Floyd. You're making it intimate. I'm telling him what Khadiji Kha means, this poor guy. Khadiji Kha. My dad's Persian. My dad's Persian, my mom's black. Fuck my life. And it's like I'm black and Persian. And then also my parents named me Tehran, the capital of Iran. Like why? Why did you do that? Did you think black and Persian? They were like black and Persian, not enough oppression. Tehran, go. Like why? Why? You want to make sure I never get through airport security? Why would you do that to me? Every time you go, Floyd, you get waved through. Every time I go, colonoscopy, bro. Colonoscopy. But I'm just saying, if you hang out with Persians, you need to know what they say. My dad's the Persian one, and my dad's Persian, and he loves saying Khadiji Akha. He says it all, he's like, Tehran, why is the Khadiji Akha here? What's the Khadiji Akha doing here? Tell the Khadiji Akha to go home. And I'm like, Baba, that's mom. Can you please stop doing that? She understands what you're saying. Floyd, do you know, do you know Persian women? Are you the Persian women? Because look, everybody I walked in, they're like, oh my God, Persian women are so beautiful. And I'm like, yeah, we all knew that. Persian women are beautiful. The men need credit. The men need some of the credit, bro. Because Persian women, we all know, look at the good looking people here. All the women, beautiful, khoshkel. All the women, khoshkel. Clap for that, clap for the beautiful. And all the guys, all the young kachal. What's up, all guys, the balls. They're all bald. The Persian guys are bald. I don't know why. The women look so young compared to the guys. The guys look like shit. That's why you have to be rich and successful to have a Persian girl, because it's not the looks. I'm telling you that right now. You all look like you're from Lord of the Rings. My precious, the precious. Like, let it go. Look at, look at the women. Look at these. Look at this couple right here. Look at the guy. Look at this guy. Look at her. Look how beautiful and young she looks. She looks so young and amazing and he... What happened? Yeah, no, he owns a mansion. You don't have to, because I'm looking at you, I'm looking at her, she's so pretty and young, you must be very rich. Like, you own Beverly Hills. Like, you, you're, you are Beverly Hills. Like, you're sitting up front, you have a lot of money, bro. Like, it's okay, you can laugh, he knows he's rich. Like, you guys, the credit score in this room is amazing. Do you understand? 
That's why I'm expecting people to give some money. You, you need to, what are you, you used to be Jim, your mayor, Jimmy Delshot, who are you? Who is this guy? I need everybody to give money. You, I need you to give money. Santa Claus, I need you to donate, like give money. This is how it works, like all these Persian, and the women, you have to understand, there's two types of Persian women. There's two types. There's Khale, and there's Amme. <laughs> There's Khale and there's Amme. Hi Amme, what's up? You're an Amme, I can tell. Khale, Khale is amazing. Everyone loves Khale. Khale is your aunt on your mom's side. And then Amme, Amme is your aunt on your dad's side. Khale is always young, good looking, pretty, fun. Khale is amazing. Amme is a bitch. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Why is Amme a bitch? Like, what did Amme do? Amme could be great and no one likes. Everyone loves Khaled. Everyone loves Khaled. Nobody likes Amme. No one likes Amme. And I'll tell you why. We even have words. Khaled Khoshkele, pretty Khaled. Khaled Khubeh, good Khaled. For Amme, we only have Amme Gorge. Wolf Amme. That's all we have. You're the wolf, Amme. You're the wolf. And it's because the khalas are nice, the khalas they party, the khalas don't even get old, their, their hair doesn't turn white. Have you ever seen like Persian grandmas, Persian mamani's so hot, what's up mamani? Mamani's hair never turns white, her, it turns, her hair turns blonde, it turns red, it never turns white. Babai, Persian grandpa, Persian grandpa always looks like he's about to die, I don't know why. <laughs> mamani comes in like, mamani's here, mamani time. Babai comes in, Baba's here, help me please. <laughs> you just gotta know the difference between the Khalas and the Amas, boy. The Khalas and the Amas. The Khalas, they party. They're out in these streets. The Khalas are for these streets. The Amas, they're the ones that talk shit. The Amas, that's why Amas all hang out together. Because the Amas hang out together because if one leaves, they start talking shit about her. No, they hang out together in the group, especially at a Mehmuni. Now a Mehmuni is a party, um, what's a Mehmuni like? Okay, it's, a, it's like a party like all these people, except they come to your house every single week. They come to your house every week and they never go home. That's what a Mehmuni is. And the Amas are in the kitchen talking shit. I remember when I was a kid, I, that's why I learned Farsi, bro. Because Persian Amas are professionals at talking shit about you behind your back in front of your fucking face. That is what they do. All Persians are. They're professionals at it. In fact, my Baba, my Baba does it all the time. He's not even good at it. He's like, Tehran, Tehran, ugly fat girl, Nigakon. Like, Baba, ugly fat girl was in English, bro. Calm down. You can't just say something in a Persian accent and think it's Farsi. The Amis talk shit. When I was a kid, I used to go to Mehmanis and I would walk in and the Amis would look at me and they would go, eh. Who's this black kid? Who brought him? And I learned Farsi so I could respond, I'm not. Your Amit brought me. Your Amit brought me, bitch. What? Ah. But now all the Amis know me. You know what I'm saying? The Amis all know me. So as soon as I walk in a room, the Amis are like, eh, eh, it's Tehran. Hi, Tehran, June, Salon, Tehran. It's Tehran. And then they're like, Tehran, uh huh? which means he speaks Farsi, which means don't talk shit, he understands. <laughs> they all know me now, the Amazon. But I was at a I was at a Mehuni two weeks ago in Beverly Hills, and the Amis were in the kitchen talking shit. I walked in and the Amis looked at me and they're like, eh, in Sia Hiki, you know you get killed worth it. Who's this black guy? Who brought him? And I was about to respond. And then I looked behind me and there was this big ass black guy. And I was like, Who's this black guy? Who brought him? Hey buddy, what are you doing here, huh? I've been working this crowd for years. You don't just get to walk in Jamal and that's my form of sapsy, bitch. Give me that form of sapsy. You don't get to just walk in. But the Khalid's never talked shit. Khalid, what's up Khalid? Yeah, Khalid, Khalid, Khalid is about that life. I know, listen, here's my thing. She knows, I, okay. 
The one thing I want everyone to know, and this is why it's so important for us to give and give, especially to charities like this that support our communities and good for the people, is because one thing Persian people are, they're such good giving people, they have such big hearts, warm, kind people who give and give and give. They're afraid to clap right now because they think every time they get to clap, they have to pay. That's what they do. <laughs> They give, bro. And I know this because, listen, I'm half Persian, half black. On my dad's side, he's Persian. My family's Muslim and Zoroastrian. Um, my grandfather was Muslim. My grandmother's Zoroastrian. On my mom's side, she's black. My grandfather's Baptist. My grandmother, who's still alive, is Jewish. Oh, do you understand I was circumcised 14 times? These aren't jokes. This is my life. Every time I hear Shabbat Shalom, I go like this and run. Do you understand? Thank God I'm half black. If I was half Asian, there'd be nothing left. Okay, that was inappropriate. Stop Asian hate. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, Persian people are givers. They give and give and give, and that's what I love the most. They give and give and give and give, especially when you don't want to take. That's what they do. <laughs> like, you want a Persian person, Floyd, to make a food you don't like? Tell them you don't like it, and they will go out of their way to make that food. They will go out of their way to make that food. There's this Persian food I don't like, and people always try to get me to eat it. I don't like, watch, watch what happened. I don't like fesenjum. See, people act like they invent, did you invent it? Did you invent fesenjum? Do you get paid every time I eat fesenjum? No, why do you care if I don't like fesenjum? I just don't like fesenjum. Okay, this is what fesenjum is. Fesenjum is, um, it's like this, it's rice. It's like a, like a rice with this like beautiful yellow saffron basmati rice and then diarrhea on top. And I don't like, I said what I said. I do not like Fesenjun and people take it so personal. They're like, oh my God, you don't like Fesenjun? And they always know someone that cooks it. They're like, you know why? That's because you've never had good Fesenjun. You've never had my mother's Fesenjun. My mother makes the best, actually, you know who makes the best Fesenjun? My Khaled. My Khaled's Fesenjun is the best Fesenjun. My Khaled, if you just try some of the, my Khaled's Fesenjun, just taste my Khaled's Fesenjun. My Khaled's Fesenjun is the best. You will love it so much. My Khaled's Fesenjun, just put it in your mouth. I just don't like Fesenjun. They cannot accept that. They can never understand that. And that's why they have a hard time accepting gay people. Because when you tell them, oh, I'm sorry, I'm gay. I don't like pussy. You don't like pussy? <laughs> that's because you've never had my mother's pussy. Just try some more. <laughs> Actually, you know who has the best pussy? My khale. My khale's pussy is the best, but just try some. Just put it in your mouth. Just trust me. Taste it. You'll love it. Try it. They're not homophobic. They're just giving. Make sure to support Packy. Make sure to support uh, Dr. Sadler, who, by the way, my dad is proud of because you're a doctor. And Clark Barr said, I'm not going to get Dr. Nashley. My name's Dad Rock.